What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for free readings. This free channel, click your reading for Sonic Cancer. This can resonate if you have cancer, any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, to apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. I do, I do, I do, who. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love support for the channel. Love you guys. All right, so I received a channel message for Sonic Cancer. That's why I'm doing your reading. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so the channeling I received was Cancer fans are about to find out shocking news. I heard some are about to find out they're pregnant with baby number two, some baby number three, some baby number five. Five. Whoa. Congratulations, if this resonates for you. Congratulations. Um, as, as far as I know, to my knowledge, we are currently in the, uh, you know, the Roe versus Wade is overturned. So everybody has to keep the child, um, to my knowledge, unless they have changed it again. But. How this resonates, I'm presuming, excuse me, I'm presuming for a majority of you guys, if this resonates for you, um, you're happy about this. At least I hope you are. Baby two, three, or five. So whoever these are for, you already have at least one child. Um, so you're about to find out you're pregnant with baby two, three, or five. Five equals a basketball team. Just saying, just saying. But some people like it that way. Everybody's different. I mean, think of the Duggars. Um, just saying, just saying. So I don't judge. Do I want five children or 19 children? No, but I am completely content with the two I have and I don't want any more children. But when are you guys about to find out you're pregnant with either baby two, three or five? And my many has some congratulations to you uh, if you want to be pregnant, but you're about to find out. For one, you're about to be shot. Defo shot. Oh, my God. For one, you're about to be shot, depo shot. So, for one, I think you're on the depo shot or you had the depo shot in the past. Anybody doesn't know the depo shot is birth control shot. Um, it's usually given in the upper forearm. Um, depo shot. So, I think you're on the depo shot or you had it in the past. Um, or I think you're on the depo shot. And that's why you're about to be shocked. You didn't think you would have any more because you're on the depo shot. I don't know. I've never had the depo shot. Never. Um, but I do know depo shot is a form of birth control. So I think for one, you're on the depo shot or you used to be. And that's that's why it's about to shock you because you're either on the depo shot or you used to be and you didn't think you could have any more kids because of depo shot. Only you know if you're on the depo shot or used to be. How that resonates and applies. Baby two, three, five. Heavy pregnancy energy. You plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. I'm not doing animal spirit cards this round because uh, one, I just don't feel guided um, and two, my cat spilled water on it and I spilled water on them. So um, I just um, try to make sure they dry. Okay. Spirit messages you have. Okay. Okay. A very busy office space. A very busy office space. That would be the chaos energy. A very busy office space. I feel guided to do one more of these since I'm not doing the animal spirit. So I think one of you guys works in a very busy office space. Or you're about to visit a very busy office space. Or someone you're connected to. Um, is works in a busy office space. Or um, is dealing with the busy office space. How would that resonate in a five cancer? Some kind of busy office space. Manifesting dreams, beauty, chaos, manifesting dreams, number 52, 42, or 46 could be a very significant number in one's life, 52, 46, or 4. 52, 42, 46. Mountain, major challenges to overcome, jug, lighthearted, carefree time, dog, close up, pleasure with close friend. Civil rights and liberties are about to become very significant, one in a cancer's life, one in a... Uh, one of your clients lives for one you're about to help a client that uh, you work in a law office 
their rights and liberties were stomped on. It's a feminine energy, and you know this. And you're about to help out this feminine energy in a huge way. You are feminine energy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So civil, civil rights and liberties are about to become significant to one of you guys. Um, whether it's your civil rights or liberties, the concept of civil rights and liberties, or somebody else's civil rights and liberties. How that resonates it applies for situation one. Situation two, you're a femme energy and you work in a law office. Um, and there's a you have a femme client that her civil rights and liberties were completely stomped on. Now, whatever you do in the law office, I feel you might to be a paralegal, uh, uh, a lawyer, a paralegal, a lawyer, um, or something of that nature. Maybe a secretary. I mean, I'm I'm not sure. I'm thinking paralegal or a lawyer or maybe a secretary. How that resonates and applies or an assistant or some, not something of that nature. But how that resonates, you are fem energy and you work in this law office, whatever occupation you are, ma'am. You have cancer in some aspect of your chart. And there's a fem client of your law office or law group or something like that. And you know her uh, civil rights and liberties have been stomped on. I heard you're about to help her out in a huge way. So I think there's been chaos there because her civil rights and liberties have been stomped on. But you know they have. And whoever you are, I think you're a positive energy to her or she's a positive energy to you or maybe you are to each other copacetically. I don't think you hate her. or uh, It doesn't sound like you do. It sounds like um you like her um or you either like her or you're just doing your job you're either just doing your job as whatever job you're doing in the law office you can like somebody or dislike somebody and they'll be your client you can hate a client and still do the proper job for them and proper policies and procedures and guidelines you can hate a client all day long and still do your job and that's just the truth so it doesn't matter if you hate or like hate or hate them or like them the important part is doing your job there if you work in the law office group um and i think that's what you're about to do no matter what occupation you are ma'am but you're a femme energy she's a femme energy and you know her civil rights and liberties were stomped on there's about to be some huge power play moves soon there's about to be some huge power play moves soon too and a taurus fem is significant in this too there's about to be some huge power play moves soon and a taurus fem is significant in this too so um, you and a Taurus Femme, you Cancer Femme and a Taurus Femme, I think you both work in this law law group, law group office. Um, and I think you're about to make some huge power play moves for her, possibly. I think there might have been some major challenges to overcome, or there's about to be. But it looks like you're, uh, and maybe some chaos there in the past or now, but you're about to move forward and over the hurdles, is what I feel. You're going to be very successful. And there's about to be a very significant information leak that's about to help this move very fast. Okay, I heard you're about to be very su successful in this. You're about to be very successful in helping her, and there's about to be some kind of huge information leak that's about to really help speed up this process of helping her. Um, a Taurus Fem is going to help you too. I think she might be working this law group or law office with you, ma'am. Or if she doesn't, you plug in the Taurus Fem, how she resonates and applies. For some, the Taurus Fem could be the information leak. How that resonates and applies, okay? Only you know your situation is story to anybody else, okay? For one, you're about to look at the masculine energies in your life in a completely different way very soon. Very sexist. Oh, my God. For one of you guys, you're about to look at masculine energies in your life in a very negative um, sense now. I don't think you did in the past. I heard they're very sexist. So, somebody has a lot of sexist masculine energies around you. That could be in a workplace dynamic, a business dynamic, or a home dynamic, or a combination. But one of you guys, um, you have some, you're a cancer femme. You're a cancer femme. And uh, you have some very sexist masculine energies around you. Very sexist. So, they basically don't, they think women are beneath them, basically. They think women are beneath them. And, um... Uh, it's kind of like barefoot and pregnant energy. They believe women should be in the kitchen, should be in the bedroom, should be in the house, um, which we live in 2022. That's not the way it should go. And that's just the truth. So, um, but your viewpoint, it sounds like it's about to change on you if that resonates and applies or already has changed. You're a cancer femme. It's sexist masculine energies around you in some shape, form or fashion, whether it's a business dynamic, a workplace dynamic, a home dynamic, or a combination. 
Mountain, major challenges to overcome. Someone who once caused huge chaos in your life, they're about to get huge chaos in their life. Know this. For some, it's your baby daddy. For some, it's a husband. For some, it's a very manipulative feminine energy of your past. Air sign. Okay, someone who once caused huge chaos in your life, they're about to get the chaos transmuted energetically back to them. So boomerang back to them, Chancer. Um, for some, it's your husband. For some, it's a baby daddy. So I feel for a lot of you guys, your fems. And for one of you guys, it is a very manipulative fem energy of your past. I heard an airside fem, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fem. So whether it's your husband, a baby daddy, the manipulative, very manipulative air sign fem of your past, or a combination. Um, major challenges to overcome. It's the chaos energy boomeranging back to them, I'm feeling. This isn't your energy. This is theirs in that aspect. They are about to have major challenges to overcome. Because they uh, created chaos in your life in the past, Cancer. For one, you have a very significant core day coming up. Your court date. For one, you have a very significant court date coming up. I heard your court date. So for one, you have a very significant court date coming up. It is your court date. So ma major challenges to overcome is your court date coming up. I think there might have been some kind of chaos there in the past. Um, and challenges. But um, it's coming up soon. So good luck to whoever this is for. Um, if this resonates for you. Evidence will be presented. Evidence will be presented. Some kind of evidence will be presented. Now, that could be you presenting evidence on your legal team or the other party presenting evidence on their team. Or maybe a combination of both. But some kind of evidence is about to be presented. Uh, but if this resonates, it's your court date. So you are actually in this as the plaintiff or the defendant. If this resonates for you. So, like, you're not on the legal team or anything like that. Like, it is your court, court date. Jug, lighthearted, carefree time. A visit to a bar is about to become very significant. Happy hour. And a vacation. A visit to a bar, happy hour, and a vacation is about to become very significant. So, lighthearted, carefree time. Uh, some kind of happy hour at a bar for one of you guys. And for one, um, um, vacation. So, wherever you're going to vacation, that could be manifesting your dreams, the vacation energy, if that resonates in a box. Doll, close up, pleasure with a close friend. For one, your baby daddy is about to try to come back into your life on a personal level. 
This would not be smart. For one, he is your boss. Oh, my Lord. Okay, for one of you guys, um, your baby daddy. So, the father of your child, your baby daddy, is about to try to come back into your life. I heard it, for, it wouldn't be smart because one of you guys, it's your boss. It's your boss um, that is your baby daddy. That's really mis mixing bizzer, uh, biz bizzer, business with pleasure. Um, and if he's the one trying to come back into your life, not only do you have to deal with him in a workspace, but he's your boss. That's way too... That's way too close for comfort, in my opinion, but um, I would never do that. But you do have a child with them, so you must have, you know, liked them enough to sleep with them. But that's your personal choice. That is your personal choice. I'm not judging. I'm not here to judge. But just know, for one of you guys, your boss is your baby daddy. And one of you, one of your, whoever this is for, he's going to try to come back into your personal life. So pleasure with a close friend. Your boss wants to get back into your personal life. And... You already have a child with them. At least one child, if not two or two plus. Her don't want to be smart. Of course, you have free will to do it if you want to do it, okay? For one, it's not your boss. It is just your baby daddy. Trying to get back into your good graces. Trying to get back into your personal life, i.e. your pants, I think. Okay? For one, you're about to get get invited out after work. Dinner and drinks. For one, you're about to get invited out after work, dinner and drinks. So uh, that could be a close friend, a platonic friend, uh, a date situation. Uh, for one, you're about to get invited out after work. So you work at 3D Workspace. Dinner and drinks. Beauty. For one, you're about to change something aesthetically on your body. For one, you're about to change something aesthetically on your body. So some kind of aesthetic body changing, whether it's a facial, uh, a mud bath, uh, I don't know, maybe you get your eyebrows formed or waxed or your hair did or liposuction or whatever it is something to do with aesthetic beauty um, on your body chaos For one, your boss's mentally unstable girlfriend is about to bust into the office yelling and screaming. It's about to throw you off kilter. She is going to be pissed. For one, you will consider calling the police. Holy crap a moly. So for one of you guys, your boss has a very unstable, mental, uh, not mentally, but... Well, she does sound mentally, mentally and emotionally unstable girlfriend. Um, I heard she's going to bust into the office. So you work in office space. It hasn't happened yet, but upcoming, she's about to bust into the office space. I think like impulsive, not thinking, just boom. Um, and basically, uh, her is going to throw you off kilter. And for one, you in one of these situations, you might end up calling the police. Um, so she's going to cause chaos in this office space. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. That's terrible. For one, there's about to be a very significant blizzard that's about to become very significant in your life. 
one that is about to be a very significant blizzard that's about to be very significant in your life. So some kind of significant blizzard energy, um, physical weather ailment, blizzard. Manifesting green. For one, you work in an office space and things are about to speed up in a very huge way. For one, you work in an office, a lot of office space energy. For one, you work in an office space and things are about to speed up in a huge way. So manifesting dreams. For one, you speak at least two languages and you're going back to school. For one, you speak at least two languages and you're going back to school. Well, congratulations. So you're manifesting your dreams. You speak at least two languages, if not more, and you're going back to school to manifest your dreams. So congratulations to whoever that's for. Um, that's beautiful. And for one, there's about to be a very significant court win. One, you are going to be working on this case, family law. For one, it's going to be a friend's court case. For one, the court case is going to be so public, citywide. All family law. Okay, so a very significant family law court win coming up soon, whether it's um, you're legally working on this court case. I feel you work in a legal office, maybe, or something like that, um, or a private eye or something. For one, um, it's your friend's court case. For one, it is going to be very public, citywide court case. But in all three situations, it's going to be a win. It's going to be a win, and you're going to be connected to them in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's your friend's court case, you are working actually on the legal team for this court case, or it's a citywide court case win. And it sounds like a lot of people are going to know about it. Manifesting green, somebody, uh, it's family law. It's family law if this resonates. And it's going to be huge, the citywide one, huge. It is going to be huge, the citywide one, huge. So, and it's going to be very talked about probably, probably on the news. And it's going to be very talked about probably on the news. So manifesting greens is court case, family law, court case win. The one that's going to be citywide might be on the news, I heard. So uh, for some, you could be a news reporter or work in the newsroom or work for the news media conglomerate or something of that nature. You plug it in how it resonates. A fed, federal investigation is very significant in cancer's life. For one, you're about to provide information for this federal investigation. For one, the properties and assets you have is part of an organized crime situation as a past. Oh, my God. So some kind of federal investigation. Uh, RICO crimes. RICO crimes. Federal investigation RICO crimes. So for one, you're going to help with the federal investigation for one of you guys. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. For one, you're going to help with the federal investigation. For one, I heard your properties and assets are part of some kind of organized crime situation of the past. So RICO crime, RICO law situation. So if they're part of some kind of organized crime situation of the past and there's a federal investigation, I'm thinking they might be seized. I didn't hear they were going to be seized, but it sounds like they might be. But for one, if you're not part of that hot mess express, you're going to help with the federal investigation with the organized crime and RICO crime and RICO law, um, RICO law situation. Um, however, that resonates and applies cancer. Okay. I love you guys. I hope this helped and namaste.